Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. We are back with the tutorials, yay! So since Coco is approaching us closer and closer to its release time to where we can all see it, let's go ahead and draw the main character, Miguel, from Coco. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the shape of his head first. So he has, it's not a perfect circle, but it's more of an oval almost. And it's kind of, you see how I'm kind of tilting it to the side. And of course I'm gonna do my favorite guidelines where I'm gonna go ahead and make those eye guidelines. And then his nose. So the from the reference I'm looking at of Miguel, we are looking at him kind of straight on, but at the same time his head's a little bit tilted. So it's interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down and make his nose, and his nose is almost like the same shape as his head. It's just a little bit wider and it looks a little bit oval. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump up and give one little area for his first eye. And he has rather big eyes. So I'm gonna give one eye right here, and then I'm gonna jump over and give another eye. Same shape, same width. Since we're looking at him face on, that means that everything kind of has to be equal to each other just because everything has to be even on each side because there's a balance when you're looking at a character face on. I'm going to go ahead and jump below and I'm just going to go ahead and mark where his smile's going to go. So everything's laid out, let's go ahead and start filling some stuff in. I'm going to start with his eye first. So I'm going to go ahead and give him his iris pupil area right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the other side and give his pupil iris area as well. Then I'm going to jump over and I want to shape up his eyes just a little bit more. So he has very round eyes to the side. And then it gets a little bit closer to each other on the side of, like, closer to the sides of his faces. But in the middle towards his nose ridge, it's nice and wide. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that little part so we can see that a little bit better. So it's nice and wide right here, closer to the nose ridge. And then it's it comes closer to each other when it gets closer to the side. So I'm going to bring up his pupil iris just a little bit more. And you want to keep it like, it's almost like a sunset, how you have that plane at the bottom of his eyelid. Go ahead and keep that. And then I'm going to jump over here. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to go ahead and bring this a little bit closer. And make this a little bit wider. And his pupil and iris should be the same over here, so it's going to get a little bit closer to that top part. Now, let's talk about his eyelashes. He has very thick eyelashes, so I'm just going to... You can see more of the thick eyelashes on top than the bottom. He has more of his eyelashes put together, so he's one of the lucky ones that us girls envy with all the amazing eyelashes. <laughs> so he's got thick eyelashes on top. Of his eyelid so we're just gonna make the top of his eyelid super thick and he doesn't can give a little bit of a darker line at the bottom not he doesn't have as many eyelashes at the bottom but they are thick still at the bottom so if you want to go ahead and darken those up just a little bit now let's go ahead and most important part let's give him his eyebrows so I'm gonna jump above here and he does have thick eyebrows, so I'm going to bring one off to the side. Actually, get rid of some of those little eyelashes. Just a nice thick line. Not too separated. <laughs> Alright, so we got one eyebrow here. Nice thick eyebrow goes up and then down. And then another thick eyebrow up here. And his, you know, he has more of a, like, a concerned look, like those eyebrows look concerned. And then I don't really see any eyelids on him, but if you want to go ahead and give him just like the mask of an eyelid, go ahead and give him the mask of an eyelid. Not the mask, you know, just like an indention that, oh, he has eyelids because he's a human. Okay, so I'm going to jump down below our nose, and from one side right here, 
I'm gonna give a nostril here and then I'm gonna jump over here and give a nostril right here and then we have the other side of his nose that leads to the nostrils and we're just gonna go ahead and put those right there and then we can see a little bit of a nose ridge from the left eyebrow going down I almost forgot to give him the shine in his eye so we have a little shine here a little shine here and then I'm gonna go ahead and give him his pupil go ahead and give him his pupil Gotta make sure each are even and he has really pretty amber eyes so I'm just gonna lightly color those in okay so he has really cute dimples so I'm just gonna put a little dimple here at the side of his mouth and another side of his mouth and then just a little bit of a line for that bottom part of his lip Let's go ahead and shape up this head a little bit more. So I'm going to bring out this side over here on the right side, bring it out. He's got really cute, he's got cute little pudgy cheeks almost. So he has a little bit of a cheek over here and then a really round cheek over here. And we're just going to shape up his forehead a little bit more. Because his hair is eventually going to go across his forehead. Let's go ahead and give him his ears. He's got very big ears, so we're gonna go ahead and make one over here. And then we're gonna make one over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and give him his hair. So I'm gonna jump up top first and do that little part. He's got a little bit of a swishy part going off to the side in front of his eyebrow. And the rest is almost like a normal hairline where it just goes across out a little bit towards his ear and this is just a swoopy across swoopy bangs <laughs> a swoopy bangs across here and then I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of hair over here and so from the part going upwards it's gonna go up over down behind his ear and it's gonna cut off he's got a little bit of sideburns going on in this way a couple more wispy hairs up here and then bring this down to the side I'm gonna go ahead and fill in his ear give him that earlobe. Got an earlobe here, earlobe here. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and go underneath his face and give him his neck. All right, so we're gonna go off just a little bit off to the side. And we're gonna make the top of his left arm. Then we're gonna go off to the side over here and make his other right arm. Since he is just a little boy, he doesn't have that wide, broad of shoulders. So one arm's gonna go this way, one right arm. So one right, the right arm's gonna go down and come along this way. We have crossed arms again, so that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna bring down this arm, and it start, it's gonna go start to go out in front of the right arm, and it's gonna start going into it where it's tucked inside. And then we've got this arm, his right arm. 
which is eventually I'm just going to go ahead and draw a circle for right now. His hand is going to be covering his left arm. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the rest of the left arm. And then bring down this part and this part. So it's going to curve inward. And I'm going to go ahead and make the crook of his left arm. And it's going to start to go in and tuck into the right arm. So here's the right arm. So since this hand is tucking inside, that means I have to go ahead and give him that part of his upper arm. And I'm just gonna go through his left arm and connect it. And then I'm gonna bring this upwards, but it's gonna be cut off because his hoodie so let's go ahead and fill in his hoodie at least. So we're gonna go ahead and bring out, we're gonna go behind his neck. I'm gonna bring out the part of the hood of his, it just looks like a runner jacket, like a cross country jacket almost. You know, like what soccer athletes would, would use. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this part of his hood. Then jump over here, I'm gonna bring up this part. So his hood is actually, the side. See it's bunched up right here but it's nice and flat on this side and it's just gonna go and rest on his shoulder and now I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the rest of his hood so this is one side and then the other side and then we have a zipper part so it's more of a rectangle so I'm gonna bring this down I'm going to go ahead and bring down the rest of this side of his jacket, so I'm going to go back to the hood, bring this down, it's going to go inwards, and then it goes into his arm right here, and then we've got a couple of folds. We have one fold going this way, and then one fold going this way, and then we have a couple of folds going on on the side of his right arm, so a couple of folds. Because clothes need folds and then we're actually going to go ahead and cut off the top of where his wrist is where his hand is resting and we're going to do the same over here with his wrist because that's the end of the jacket and one important thing about his jacket are the two racing stripes that's what I'm just gonna call them <laughs> the two running stripes that are going down across his red jacket and let's not forget he is wearing an undershirt underneath, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back up and close off that t-shirt. And then we have the other part of the zipper going downwards into his hand. All right, so let's go ahead and draw those little running stripes and we're going to start with the right arm which we cannot see as much of the running stripes as we can. So the thing about jackets is you want to kind of make it a little bit unequal like not a straight line because it is the folds of the jackets and it's going up. So I'm going to jump over and draw the other side. I'm just going to mirror that squiggly line I just made. And then you're just going to go ahead and divide it. So there are two running stripes. And it's always smart to go ahead and give a little bit more folds to jackets because clothes are not straight. Always keep that in mind when you're drawing clothes. Clothes are absolutely not straight at all. They have many, many folds. Even pencil skirts have many, many folds in them. So for these bracing stripes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that wrist part. So it's the wrist part of the jacket. And these racing stripes are gonna go across the top and then go up into the hand. And they're actually gonna go on the other side of the hand. And then they're gonna go up and tuck back into underneath the hood. So I'm gonna mirror that line again. already pretty thick. After I mirror that line, I'm going to go ahead and divide it. And 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and give a little bit more folds to his arm. So this hand is done because it's tucked in the crook of his arm. This hand we have to fill out. So I'm gonna start with the forefinger first, so the front finger, so your pointer finger. Go ahead. And we wanna fill in this circle. So we got one pointer finger, we're gonna make it bend. And then I'm gonna go alongside of it. Middle finger. The ring finger. And then the pinky finger alongside of that. And he is a boy, so his fingers don't have to be too skinny. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give him more of a knuckle line up top. So a little more of a knuckle line, because the knuckles should be going across. Alright, so let's talk about shading in Miguel's face because shading really, really does matter in Miguel's face because we have to give him more of his poofy cheeks because he does have poofy cheeks. So I'm going to start with the right dimple on one side and then give a little bit of that dimple over here and the same over here and really, sh and there's really a big time shading underneath his face because he doesn't have a line that separates his head from his neck. He has a ton of shading. So I'm just gonna shade underneath his face, shade here, shade here, and I'm just gonna smooth it over with my fingertip because I don't have a shading stick or a tissue at the moment. So I'm gonna shade that in, and I'm gonna shade in this side of his cheek too. And I'm going to shade across here. And then I'm going to shade underneath his nose. And I'm going to shade underneath his left eyebrow and across his eye, his left eye, to give more of a definition shading to that nose ridge. And I'm going to shade just a little bit above his right eye, too. And of course, I'm going to go in and shade his dark hair. Alrighty, there you guys go. There's a fun, easy way to draw Miguel from Disney Pixar's Coco. I hope you go and see it Thanksgiving week. I definitely will see it on Wednesday. I just wanted to go ahead and draw Miguel first just because we all know who Miguel is. So hopefully once we all see Coco, we'll understand more who the other characters are. So I'm really excited and I will see you all later. Bye!